Today I want to talk about one of my favorite types of underwear, namely the Merino Wool Boxer Brief. Now, I've, I started using this about four years ago, so I've had a lot of experience and I want to share the disadvantages and the great advantages of wearing Merino Wool underwear. If this is your first time watching my channel, I'm Thor. I love to make this travel related guide so that you can have a better trip. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is some of the great advantages of wearing merino wool compared to some of the other types of uh, fabric you find out there. Uh, and the clear thing for me about merino wool is that it's very odor resistant. So in a pinch, if you had to, you could wear this merino wool for um, two to three days without much issues. In a really pinch, you could probably wear it upwards of a week. I do not recommend wearing it for a week though, especially not if you're going to be around other people, they will not like you. <laughs> so the next thing I want to talk about is the comfort of the merino wool underwear. So I've worn a lot of these types of synthetics and cotton and bamboo, and I have to say that the merino wool underwear is incredibly comfortable, especially compared to the synthetics that are out there. Now it's not as durable as some of the other types of underwear, I will have to say though. But I think it makes up for it in comfort. The reason that it's so comfortable compared to the other types of wool out there, uh, if you've worn, ever worn wool sweaters, uh, I'm Norwegian so I wear them a lot in the winter, you know how horrible it is and itchy? Well, merino wool is not. It's very fine uh, and nice uh, wool, so you won't have any problems with that. You do, however, keep all the benefits of it being wool, which is that it holds the heat in very well. So if you're cold in the winter, um, wear some merino wool, you're not going to be cold as easily. The same thing goes for the heat, it keeps the heat out surprisingly well. So I always wear this, if I'm, if I'm going to a tropical country, I always bring my merino wool. It's incredibly nice to wear, even in the heat. Um, it also is a type of uh, product that looks really good. I've worn a lot of these ex officio types of underwear, you know, the synthetics that has a lot of the same properties as the merino wool, but I have to say that the merino wool looks incredibly much better than some of the sport underwear that is out there. It also doesn't dry it up as easily. I guess that depends a lot on what type of underwear and brand you're wearing, but uh, I thought I should mention it in here. So the next thing I want to talk a little bit about is some of the disadvantages of the merino wool compared to some of the other types of uh, underwear you have out there. So the first one is uh, clearly the price. Merino wool is incredibly expensive compared to cotton, bamboo, you know, uh, synthetics. For me personally, I think it's worth it. it usually these types of underwear cost uh, between uh, 30 and 40 US dollars if you're looking for something that's gonna last you and be of high quality. You can find cheaper uh, merino wool as well. Personally, I like to go for the more expensive ones, uh, as they tend to be of higher quality and a little bit uh, more comfortable. They are, however, not uh, very durable compared to some of the synthetics out underwear that is out there. And usually, uh, a pair of these, if you wear them a lot, they'll not last you longer than perhaps a year or two. Again, it depends a little bit between the different brands and uh, people that produce it, but... Overall, I would say that Merino wool uh, is not as durable as some of the other products out there, which I talk about in the next video. However, um, yeah, it, it totally worth it, I think so. Um, there is another little concern when wearing Merino wool, and that is uh, the ethical concern of it all. Uh, it's obviously not vegan, since it's made from sheep's wool. Uh, however, there is something called mule sing, where they cut off the back of the, the sheep's uh, behind, so that it doesn't get that easily infected. Uh, you'll have to research that yourself and see if that's something you're comfortable with. I'm not saying that either side is correct, but it's something to keep in mind. I've written a lot about it in the post, post but I'm not going to link it in this video. You can check it out at the end of the next one. So thanks for watching this. Head over to the next one where I compare the merino wool to a lot of other uh, types of travel underwear. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.